Chennai, welcome along to the final section of the Vale Heritage Trail and welcome back to the Way with Welshman. We're at the Vale Hotel where I finished the last section uh, by Home Farm which is just ahead of me and uh, I'm going to rejoin the trail and then uh, start walking towards uh, Peterson Super Ely where we finished this brilliant walk and the weather is on my side today it's cold frosty morning but the sun is shining no clouds in the sky it's a perfect condition so i know i'm gonna enjoy this one so i hope you do too here we go This uh, Vale Hotel Golf Resort Golf course just behind the hedge behind me That's that done So onwards now further into the Vale of the Morgan And towards the uh, Peterson Super Easy But straight away Loving this ball I haven't been out for a few days uh, Or a few weeks rather And uh, yeah I needed this Loving it already went through the uh, old racetrack so lots of uh, studs uh, around you with race horses and uh, yeah and I feel full of them now so I'm gonna be a bit careful uh, they're a lot bigger than normal horses and obviously a lot quicker Look at that view. Incredible. So there's not a lot of um, historic points of interest on this section of the walk. Um, there's St. Catholic's Church which is a bit further along but it's off the route a bit so it's not even on the route. But what it lacks in historic it makes up in this incredible natural beauty. Uh, we walk alongside the, one of the river Ely's, uh, which is a triple SI area, so that's important. But lots of nice farmlands, I guess, and you know I love a farm. And the race horses, which are quite cool to see. But it's just a nice day, 
nice time to get out and have a walk and uh, you can't argue when this is pretty like I've walked some of this section in the past in one of my old videos and um, so this bit's a bit new but then closer to Peter's are super easy I've done those sections before along the river so I know uh, that's quite beautiful but my old nemesis uh, was there the last time I was there the cows and uh, there's quite a lot of them in that field the last time I was there so we shall see if that's the same today but you know I'm well practiced now are we? <laughs> here we go bit of a choice to make, you can either head down there which the, the OS map suggests or we can take this die and cut through a little woodland either way, they end down to the main road and you've got to meet up with the, the track the other side of the road so I think I'm going to mix it up a bit because that's just another farm field and it walked past our entrance on the other side of the field so makes sense doesn't it I'll tell you what this entire heritage trail has brought some stunning scenery and I've always said whenever someone asks me oh, what's been your favourite section I say it's the section by Fan Beverly when you go out into the marshlands and you've got that old medieval village woodland and just looking over the marshes just stunning but this look at that it's a, a different scenery again from the one that we just saw looking out towards the valleys this is now looking well and truly into the veil sorry about the sun but it's stunning. Ah. Let's see how this walk goes and see if uh, I've got a new favourite section. But it's looking good. I don't know if you're picking up the woodpecker on the tree. Hopefully you are. <laughs> nice to hear the second one I've here today maybe it's following me so just uh, leaving Bryn Farm the section sort of like spikes a bit north just to the farm and then we're heading back south again now towards the river Ely uh, I've done this section before in the past um, I remember there being cows and I could see in a few fields you won't see the sun but there's a few fields ahead of us uh, the cows are there um, so we're going to enjoy that experience I'll bring you along of course for the ride but yeah so this is the home stretch the final section section 16 of the heritage trail and we're very much on the home stretch now of this section so it feels like it's coming to an end which is quite sad I've broken this section up uh, this entire walk into sections uh, over 12 months pretty much and then um, we followed in the heritage trail guide which the railways uh, set up uh, a brilliant guide set up by an amazing charity they, they organize walks and you all around the Vale of Morgan and encourage everyone to come out and join them so links in the bottom have a look at their website hit them up on social media and uh, get out there and enjoy one of their walks one of the other things they do is they go out and maintain these public rights of way and uh, make sure they're access accessible and maintain styles like that so uh, very appreciated the work they do and yeah I've thoroughly enjoyed the guide it's been really informative so <laughs> I recommend getting these ladies agree Yeah. Um, but yeah, just get out and enjoy yourself. I hope you've enjoyed my interpretation of the walk. Um, you know, just go out and experience it for yourself, and I hope it's been helpful in some way. Uh, 
Look at that. That's easy enough. They've clearly heard about me. Their friends down the road have warned them. That's always good. Right now they may well be if they've been they're feeding in the middle. So I mean, well, look, they're just lazing around which can't blame them really. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can see in the distance on the hill behind the cows. Probably not. Well, that, that's St. Catholic's uh, church, the 14th century church. But more importantly now, this. Just bring you along. This is the River Ely. So we're just going to follow this all the way to the end now. Exciting. It's a lovely section of the walk. It's a triple SI. Important wetlands. So, yeah, a very important site. So that's uh, Pont Flambeda, or Flambeda Bridge. There's been a bridge here for centuries and its current form was built back in 1860s. So yeah, a very old bridge, but still standing. So this is the route card for section 16. Started near Hensall, my home farm, and we went around the back of the golf course, going through the gallops into Trade Doddridge, up, up um, towards the farm fields, and then back up towards Bryn Farm before we followed the River Ely all the way back to the Peaks and Super Ely. So that's the bridge where it all started or ended for section one. It was the start of section two and it's the end again now for section 16 and the entire heritage trail. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, I hope you have too. Um, if you have, give me a like. If you want to go back and watch the other walks, go back and there's links to the playlist is up above or just go to my channel. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Take care, look after yourself. Au revoir. Bye.